hello guys now we are going to uh, see in depth the circuitry of the analog control loops we are here at the input side where we have a 4 wire transmitter giving signal to the controller as a process variable here uh, the two wires uh, for the power source and two wires for the signal and the power source is at the transmitter side so two wires are going to the control loop uh, where we have a resistance of 250 ohm uh, so 4 to 20 milliamps correspond to the 1 to 5 volts um, and th these voltages are then converted to digital value through analog to the dig digital converter so this is how 4 y transmitter works uh, if we have the power source at the control room side then we would have to install a 4 core cable uh, in which 2 cores would be the power it would carry the power and the other two cores would carry the signal so uh, this is how uh, a four wire transmitter works with the power source at the control room side so uh, we uh, frequently come across the two wire transmitters here we have a two core cable and the power source at the transmitter side and this is how the analog electronic uh, circuitry works uh, this is a very common loop this is the output loop in which uh, we uh, have an intermediate device known as uh, I to P converter that which converts current 4 to 20 milliampere to pneumatic signal 3 to 15 psi so this device needs uh, 20 psi as an instrument supply source and then it takes 4 to 20 milliampere as an input signal and uh, gives 3 to 15 psi output signal to the control wall uh, assembly inside to operate it so 4 to 20 milliampere would uh, correspond to 3 to 15 psi and this is uh, again a 2 y transmitter the input side in which we have the voltage source inside the controller and this is another transmitter circuit in which we have an indicator circuit in between which also shows the current values in the circuit so normally for the in, uh, in industrial control loops we, we, we can monitor the faults uh, by checking the current value so if the current is less than 3.6 milliampere it's the sensing transducer field low condition and similarly if the current is in between 3.6 to 3.8 then it's again sensing transducer uh, failure and uh, similarly all other levels we have defined uh, to for troubleshooting the fault if there is some fault in control loop so this is also known as a memory signal standard thank you very much for listening